Welcome guys, welcome to this brand new series and in this series, uh, Laravel series we are going to see the concepts of Laravel we are going to deal with the latest version of Laravel so currently I am on the Laravel website and uh, to install Laravel what you need to do you need to make sure you have some local server set up at your computer so uh, you can download the ZAMP or Docker or whatever uh, local server you prefer the main thing that you need to note here is that your PHP version should be more than 7.2 because the latest uh, Laravel supports that and it is important to have it. Currently, I have the uh, XAMPP running. You can see here. In case uh, you don't have XAMPP running, you can uh, install it and set the virtual host as well onto the Laravel because uh, uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, here is the video that you can follow to uh, set the virtual host. Now for now, um, before going any further, what we need to do, we need to start a brand new project. So here we have installing Laravel, if I scroll down. So here we have Composer Create Project. So to create a project, we need to use Composer. And if you are dealing with Composer first time, it is something uh, you need to install Composer in your system as well as Node.js in your system. So to install it, all you need to do, you need to go to a website, org. And we need to go download the Node.js. So we need to go to Node.js org as well. So to install the Composer, we, you can click on download. And we need to run these three, uh, these four commands to make it work. So to do this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open a terminal. And here, I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to go into my XAMPP folder. So I have the XAMPP installed. Uh, and inside the docs, we are going to create a project. And I'm going to call this project uh, practice. So this practice, we need to uh, install the Laravel inside it. So what we can do here. So currently, uh, I am in my htdocs folder using terminal. So here we can run the command to create the project. So if I go here and, the, and we can run straight away this command. But to run this command, we need to have composer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this command. And I'm going to put it here. Now it's going to get the required file, what the file is required for Composer. So we need to run the second command now. So I can copy this and paste here. So it says installer verified. Now we can go and copy third command. Now it's going to download the required files for Composer. Depending on your computer speed uh, and internet speed, basically it's going to uh, install. So it, it installed it into this comp uh, directory. So if I uh, type here Composer, so you, we have the Composer up and running. So now as we have the Composer up and running, we can go into the directory where we want to set up our project. But before that, we need to install Node.js as well. So I'm going to uh, download the Node.js recommended version. So just download that one. Just next, next, and great. So it is installed. Now, as it is done, now we can straight away go ahead and work with the Laravel project. So I copy this command where we are. It is creating for a blog project, but we don't want blog. We want practice. So here, in my htdocs folder, if you see here, we have the htdocs here. Inside htdocs, I have this practice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside this practice folder using terminal. So I'm going to say cd chain directory, which is practice. And now I'm inside practice. 
So here we're going to copy that command that we copied from Laravel website. Now instead of blog, we are going to put a dot. That means install it into the current directory. And it is going to create the project for us. So if I go inside it, we should be getting the files here in a moment. All right, so it is completed. Now we have the files in our project. So uh, what else we need to do here is that uh, if I go back here, we can clear the screen and I want to say npm install. It is going to install required dependencies uh, because we installed the Node.js. If you run it without installing Node.js, you will get the error, but we already installed it. So it should be working. So if I hit enter, it is going to install required files as well. So we need to wait till it completes. All right, so we have Node.js installed as well. You uh, get this node underscore modules uh, folder once you get the installation completed with Node.js. Now we have the practice and uh, practice folder. If I go to, so um, once all the dependencies are complete, I when it reach to this uh, project, we get this error. Initially, you are going to get the error like this, so we can fix this. Now about the URL, you can go to localhost and uh, then slash practice and then public. You will come to the same page if you don't have the um, virtual host set up. If you want to set it up, then you can follow this video and it's going to show you how to do that in the way I did it here because uh, I'm using it as practice.test. So it is loading this page. Now let's uh, fix this uh, issue that we are having. So we have a permission denied error, which is happening inside storage folder. So generally storage folder gives the error like this. So we can give storage folder the complete permission of 777 so that in, uh, while we are working on the project, we won't have to worry about anything. But on the live server, 777 is not advisable. But uh, it's up to you what permission you prefer to give to your directory. So here I say sudo chmod minus capital R 777. And then we need to say storage. Now this command will run because I'm already inside the practice folder. If you're not inside the practice folder or your projects folder, then you need to navigate there. You need to undefine the path. So here, if I hit this, it asks for password. I pass the computer's password and when you refresh, we get our project up. So we have it here.